by First Alert Chief Meteorologist Derek Beasley with your latest forecast here on CBS News. Baltimore, after a dry Monday across the area and start to the work week, things are going to be changing in a hurry late tonight and for the first part of your Tuesday, just in time for the height of the holiday travel season that's going to be coming up here over the next couple of days. We are expecting some wet weather for your Tuesday that could impact your plans. Not today, though. Skies becoming mostly cloudy. We're going to top out around 50 this afternoon and then fall through the 40s this evening. So it'll be a little cool, but at least it won't be raining. Again, as I mentioned, that will be a different story tomorrow. You can already start to see some of the high clouds starting to move into the region. We'll see these high clouds gradually thicken and lower as the evening goes on. We're going to stay dry, though, even though we do have some showers that are trying to pop up just off to our southwest, just a little after the noon hour, out towards parts of southeast Ohio and West Virginia. There is the main storm system right there. And again, this is going to strengthen and track towards our way. We're going to be watching for a threat for severe weather on the Gulf Coast. If you have travel plans for later on this afternoon, this evening, especially down to this area, really, if you were to go from Birmingham to perhaps Pensacola Mobile, westward through New Orleans, out towards Houston, Dallas, and up towards Little Rock, there is the potential there for some severe weather, particularly in the orange enhanced risk area where we've got a level three of five possibility of strong tornadoes right along the I-20 corridor. We'll be keeping you updated on that if anything does materialize there. That could cause some travel delays, though, heading down towards the Gulf Coast. Around our area, though, rain should move in late morning, uh, midday on Tuesday and continue through Tuesday night. The rain's going to be heavy at times. We could see one to two inches of rainfall out of this as it moves through. Winds will be gusting out of the east and southeast as the storm approaches 30 to 40 miles an hour. That could cause some coastal flooding. And then we'll get northwesterly winds as the storm pulls away on Wednesday. Uh, that will be gusting over 20 miles an hour. We're also going to have some poor drainage issues and also some travel issues as well. As, of course, the wet roadways are going to create some issues out there. Now, right now, it looks like... Tomorrow is going to be the highest impact day as far as travel is concerned. Wednesday looks fine. Thursday looks fine. And actually right now, Friday looks okay. We had a moderate here. We're going to go ahead and uh, move that down to low as it looks like the next chance for rain is going to stay well to our south with this next system heading into your Black Friday and into the first part of the weekend. There is a threat for some wintry weather at the onset of the precipitation later on tonight. It's going to be cold enough in the higher elevations for the possibility of a little bit of snow up to about an inch of accumulation. Garrett, Allegheny County. West of the Allegheny Front, and then perhaps maybe some ice accumulation up to about a tenth of an inch. That's going to cause some travel problems, at least initially on Tuesday, before things start to get warm enough where it'll change over to all rain. And that's all we're expecting here in the Baltimore area is just rain through the mid to late morning hours tomorrow, all the way through tomorrow night. This is how things will pan out. When you wake up in the morning, it's just going to be cloudy. It won't be raining yet. But we are going to start to see the rain spread in quickly by mid morning. Notice by 10, 11 a.m., the first edge of the rain, if you will, starts moving into the Baltimore area. And notice all these yellows and oranges back towards the west. This is some of the heavier rain, and this is why we're expecting one to two inches of rain. We're running about a seven-inch rainfall deficit right now, so this is actually good. The timing is just bad on it because it's coming during the busiest time as far as travel is concerned. Notice through midnight tomorrow night, rain continues. Rain should start shifting off to the east, though, by early Wednesday morning, and then the wind shift out of the northwest. It'll just be cloudy, but it'll be breezy throughout the way Wednesday. And then Thanksgiving Day actually looks like it's going to be just fine. 20% chance for rain early in the morning, up to 100% chance during the afternoon and evening. So wet here for your Tuesday, alert day in effect. We are going to look, look at improving weather, though, for the middle part of the week. Thanksgiving Day looks fine. Highs in the mid-50s, and then more rain chances as we head towards the weekend. We'll keep you updated on that. Right now, it looks like that system is going to stay off to our south, but we'll keep the chances in there just in case. We'll keep you updated.